everybody. Welcome to Fairway Media's coverage. Round two, Lake Stevens, Freeze in the Trees, 17. I'm Justin Banks, and uh, here are our sponsors for this event. Our TDs are Anthony Holly and Brian Anderson, our AKA BA. Let's get right into it. We have Austin Grind, Kenny Clark, Josh Boeing, and TK, AKA Tyler Conkle. First round was from the white tees. This round is from the blue tees. It is a huge fundraiser for the Lake Stevens Food Bank. We also have uh, normal payouts, of course, uh, and fantastic sponsors. Everybody who is a part of this event just obviously make it happen. Um, and what a great venue. This is the second round, technically, of being on YouTube. A full round, excuse me. Um, check out the first round if you haven't already. You get the TD in there, and uh, it's a good time. So, hole one is 288 feet. It's just in the canopy there. They're trying to get a good bounce, probably 30 feet. Good. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit further on that result. Let's go, Josh. Kenny was that previous one. Hit that tree. Oh, he did a big curl. come <laughs> back. And here's TK. Ooh. A little bit of cross. Uh, oh. Fairway cross there. <laughs> Josh gets it high, but unfortunately doesn't fall. Hits the metal. He'll have an easy three. And here's Austin making his fairway media debut. I believe uh, he's got a uh, nickname of uh, Gerber. See ya. Oh. <laughs> That's how that works. I'm going to get out of your way. Good job, Kenny. Getting this par and out of the way. Par as it is. Onward to hole two. Last round I had the catch cam view, but a slightly different tee pad. This one's further right. through all right looks like Kenny's the first to put from the stump
Mm, off the tree, he'll get his three. He's sitting right underneath. Ooh, almost a perfect angle. Looks like we're going through the trees. He's got a pull to deal with here on that basket angle. And he hit it directly. Unfortunate. <laughs> Nice shot. Uh, the bar is getting dropped in. Oh boy, good two. Good job, koi fish. So hole three is about 210 feet. I don't think. Uh, oh yeah, the basket's a little bit further. Same angle. A little further than the basket. We'll have a putt with a couple trees in the way. Maybe a straddle. That was ideal. Extremely. Let's see if Josh can uh, follow that line. Oh, he's going flex. A little too high. A little short on the upshot. That's a long two look for TK. Ooh. Going right through it, huh? Let's see what Austin can do here. Oh, barely missed. Kenny gets that birdie to tie Austin. I overheard this guy over here. He's like, and let's see what happens on hole four, about 182 feet. This is that downhill one that we saw, and I am uh, first round. I was from the tee pad. Slightly different angle too. I think it's a little bit further. The jump putt approach did not work for Kenny. Ooh, that's an unfortunate tree kick early as well for TK. Overhand, Austin. A low shot, tunneling quickly. Nicely dude. done, good job. Little low, he had a good angle. That just hit at a root, put him in the middle of the fairway. He'll have a long putt as well. Oh, that was beautiful. Great second shot to pop, uh, potentially save your par. Try not to get that damage. <clears throat> Kenny is behind that tree. I'm not sure what type of throw, but I'm going to guess some type of putt. Yeah, he made it down there. Good results.
Here's a two opportunity. He's got a weird angle to hit on this basket, though, because that front is blocked somewhat with the chain. Oh, he hit the metal in front, looks like. Yeah, you really got to pay attention to the quadrants of uh, where the chains are, are covering and not covering. Oh, wow. He didn't need any of that. Just put it right in. Good job, boss. Kenny for three. Oh, he got rejected. Fortunate Bogue for Kenny. Two pars and Austin got the birdie. It looks like he's taking two stroke lead. Takes the box, 237 for hole five. It is very difficult to film this course, but it was a lot of fun. Oh, kind of see the basket there. Somewhat of a flex line in the for Austin in the middle. Hmm. Nice great. More right kick. than he wanted, but it did kick <laughs> great. Wow. Right to the center is, you couldn't ask for a better kick. Mm, a little too high of an Anheuser angle. The downhill view of that valley there. All right, you can kind of see what other stuff is in his way now. He's like he's lining up for something, right? Possibly high. Nope, low and right at it. Perfect. Decent run. Austin getting another two. That's a few in a row. So this is one of the more relaxed chains setups, um, or less bars. But uh, yeah, you're challenged on the way up the hill, most. The whole six, 250 or so feet, depending on where you get your data from. That one's tucked after that tree. You can kind of see it through the leaves. And that's another fairway that crosses, so always be on your toes out here. Ooh, tree, dude. what a run. That is big. Cool. We're going thumber. Come on, JB. Oh. Oh, it went forward still. Wow. That's great. It's like the more traditional forehand line. Wow, that got sneaky. <laughs> yeah. Like he said, uh, like Austin said, it got sneaky. Yeah. 
Wow, he just not missing on the putting green right now. Good job, Austin. Oh, Kenny gets brutally rejected from the chain. <laughs> you got to be really careful on this basket. Look at that angle of the, the chains here. You got to pretty much slide it in. No, it's clear. I missed the line if I threw my driver. Oh, did you? Yeah. No, I would. I'll give you a little close up. That one side's completely open. And the other one's pretty much shut off. You got to hit a perfect angle in that center. <laughs> so, yeah, hole seven, about 180. This tee has a little bit righter than the previous round. With such a tight course, they, they really had some decision making to do on the second pads on some of these holes. Some of them are similar, some of them are slightly different, but way more difficult. Dang, another close call. See, he used the chain as a backstop on that one. That was excellent. Good turkey, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's four in a row. Thank you. All right, moving to eight. They're throwing uphill, and I'm out of breath. Austin gets uh, up the hill a little bit, I think. I didn't. I didn't quite see all of that drive. All right, Kenny. A little higher. Ugh. So, sounds similar. We'll see where that second shot is from. After this, TK trying to correct their lines. It goes long and, yep, sits perfectly. Great shot. Josh going backhand. Anheuser. Oh, oh, that last tree said, I'll let you through. It's okay. Yeah, great shot. He'll skate by, but end his birdie streak. He'll have to start a new one. Ooh, that glance put him a little bit longer than everybody else, so he'll putt again, or throw again with a putt. Let's see if this is a three for Kenny. He's got a little bit of chain work to deal with, too. Ah. 
Unfortunate bug. He's had two of those so far. I don't think he's happy about it. Two opportunity for JB. Or, sorry, TK. Opportunity for two goes in. Good job, TK. And another bird for Josh. The bad B word for Kenny. Hole eight, about 260, according to, wow. Look at that infamous Les Bergsman. you can see, the challenge of this hole is rolling back down. Nice shot, Josh. Wow, Josh misses everything. Unfortunately, high nose up for Austin. Can he get his grip right on his plastic? Oh, that looks like it hit the center of that beast. All right, so we've got dangling chains from the center on this one, so you can putt from any angle. Firebird. Yeah. Go. Marvelous. <laughs> Austin wants to protect his lead. Very smart golf. Might have a chunk out of that. Yes. Tap a tap. Who cares? Yeah, I'm not even here. Just play normal. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, that was bad luck on that throw. Parville. And a bogey. The whole nine is but about 140 is my guess. You've got a lot to work with. The vertical shots look like they fit this space. Ooh, a little left. Looks like it hit a late tree in the fairway. Kick forward. Get it. Oh. Wow, it hit a ricocheted root.
So thanks again for watching hole nine. We got Austin taking a little bit of a lead here over Kenny. Thanks again to our sponsor of the event and thanks to the TDs. And we will see you on the second half of round two. Thanks again for watching Fairway Media. Thanks for liking and subscribing as well. Have a good one. See you in the next video.